Welcome back to my channel, babe. We're talking about Ethel Kane. In a recent incident, 25-year-old inbred musician Hayden Silas Anhedonia, which might I add is unique enough to be a stage name, known by her actual stage name Ethel Kane, collapsed during a performance at the Sydney Opera House. Anhedonia downplays the seriousness of the situation, attributing it to her naturally low energy levels and lack of stamina rather than a severe health issue. Despite her attempt to minimize the incident, her sizable fan base quickly spread videos of the episode on social media platforms, sparking discussions, like always. This incident serves as a symbolic culmination of a transformative year for Anhedonia. Her journey into alternative pop stardom has been swift and intense, marked by a mixture of acclaim and challenges. Raised in a Southern Baptist family in small town Florida, she was homeschooled and raised listening to Christian music. As a teenager, she discovered pop and became enamored of the music of Florence plus the machine. She became active on Twitter and Tumblr and started making friends online. She moved out of home at 18 and at 20 came out as a trans woman. Shortly after, she began releasing music as Ethel Kane, a character inspired by Southern Gothic horror films and the religious trauma of Anhedonia's own upbringing. After building up a small, dedicated fan base with a series of EPs released in 2019 and 2021, her breakthrough came with the release of the 76-minute album Preacher's Daughter, a sprawling and unconventional work that defies easy categorization. No, seriously, some songs are past 10 minutes, and they range from Taylor Swift-esque teen pop to doom metal. This ambitious project propelled her into the alternative mainstream, attracting a substantial and passionate following. She has discussed her willingness to play the Miss Alt pop star role in the media if it helped her career which I completely understand because I too am broke and desperate. However, the newfound fame has brought a mix of positive and negative aspects that she grapples with. The album apparently aims to tell the story of the Ethel Kane character, a gnarly tale of abuse and cannibalism that somehow became one of the year's biggest pop breakouts and a mainstay in critics' end-of-year lists. Wow, how fun! Touching on hazy, ambient music, gothic country and doom metal, Many of its songs have no choruses or discernible hooks. Its calling card single, American Teenager, is a heartland rock anthem that feels indebted to Taylor Swift and Bruce Springsteen. But most other songs, like the pulverizing Gibson Girl or the glacially paced Thoroughfare, seem to exist at the intersection of Lana Del Rey, the ambient folk artist grouper, and Godspeed You Black Emperor at their most grinding. Anhedonia's music has frequently been compared to Lana Del Rey's, and the similarities are evident. The reedy, mournful vocals, the meandering song structures, the tales of seedy corners of American life. But where Del Rey seems only to try these quotidian existences on for size, you can hear that Anhedonia has really lived them. Listening to Preacher's Daughter front to back is a genuinely emotional experience. Anhedonia's active engagement with fans on platforms like Twitter significantly contributed to her rise. Yet, this engagement also had unintended consequences. The demands for personal access and intrusive questions from fans began affecting her relationships with family and friends, prompting a reevaluation of the cost of her public persona. There was one especially creepy case where a family member complained to Ethel that her fans would send them DMs just so Ethel would notice them, truly the parasocial magnum opus. Furthermore, the challenge of being labeled a pop artist thrust Anhedonia, a.k.a. Ethel Kane into the realm of stan culture where fans passionately debate and measure an artist's success using metrics like streams and followers. This has introduced a new layer of complexity to her career as she navigates between artistic authenticity and fan expectations. Anhedonia's rising popularity can be attributed partly to her internet savvy and engagement with fans through platforms like Instagram and Twitter. However, she began to feel trapped in a cycle of being perceived primarily as an internet persona rather than a serious artist. While she appreciates the humor and support from fans, she finds it demoralizing when her art is not taken seriously due to this perception. As a performer, Anhedonia captivates audiences with her intimate and hushed performances. However, she has encountered instances where fans disrupt these moments by making jokes or referencing internet memes during her shows. While not necessarily malicious, this behavior can be jarring and impact the authenticity of her performances. Also, live shows these days just suck now, honestly. Anhedonia recently deleted her Twitter account, citing a shift in her perspective on openness and honesty. She initially believed that transparency would make her relatable, but she realized the downsides of having her personal life exposed online. Another reason for her retreat from social media was the increasing demand from fans to access not only her but also her friends and family.
This invasive approach began affecting her relationships and created an uncomfortable dynamic with those close to her. Anhedonia attributes part of this situation to her classification as a pop artist, which places her within the stan culture where fans debate metrics like streams, stats, and followers, sometimes losing sight of the artist's individuality. Currently residing in rural Pittsburgh, Anhedonia is focused on her creative work and a follow-up project to Preacher's Daughter. She seeks to challenge herself artistically and remains committed to her music, despite the challenges of fame and internet culture as Anhedonia reflects on her journey from relative obscurity to alternative pop stardom. She now yearns for a quieter life away from the relentless spotlight. Currently focused on her creative work and personal growth, she has become discerning about collaborations and appearances. Her desire for artistic integrity and authenticity drives her decisions, even as she grapples with the dynamics of her rapidly growing fan base. Amid the twists and turns of her unexpected rise, Anhedonia's experience encapsulates the paradoxes of modern fame and the pursuit of artistic individuality. But what do I know? I'm just an AI robot. Bleep bloop bleep bloop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.